What's up everyone, John here, and here is a setup video of my new home theater PC. I uh, recently moved and I decided not to get cable or satellite for time being and I decided to build a machine and put it together and run Windows Media Center on it and see what I could do. So let me kind of give you a, a kind of the setup of what I have going on here. Obviously you can see my 40 inch Samsung uh, LCD sitting here. It's 240 hertz so it, it, the picture quality on it is great. Uh, the sound speakers coming out of it is okay. Uh, I can't complain too much but I, I do enjoy uh, the TV for sure. So the way I'm getting TV right now is I actually am just using good old rabbit ears. Uh, this is a Radio Shack I think it was $25 uh, over the air high def antenna. Um, it works pretty good. I only have problems with about one uh, station getting it, but everything else comes in pretty clear and, and you know, high def, so I can't complain. Uh, down here, I do have a Blu ray player, and I got this Blu ray player two or three years ago, and I remember I thought I was so excited because. This is when Blu-ray players are three or four hundred dollars, and I got it on Black Friday from Best Buy for one hundred and ninety-nine dollars, and I'm so excited, you know. And now you can go out and get one for ninety-nine dollars or less, and it has widgets and all that stuff on it. But you know, that's fine. I'm not worried. It worked. It did its job, and uh, when Blu-ray first came out, and so I can't complain. I was excited, and it works. Uh, I have a new Apple TV, and I'll probably do a review on this, and. My plan was to just go ahead and use the Apple TV to run everything. I found some roadblocks in doing that, and I had to go an alternative route. So, uh, I still have it, and we'll kind of go through this. Um, over here are my computers. And what you can see is on the right-hand side, I have an old Dell, oh gosh, I want to say it's a four, yeah, 4500S Dimension. Uh, I haven't really done too much to it. I think I put like 110, 130, something like that, a gig hard drive in it. Uh, I put a, a DVD burner in it. That's about the extent. It still has a, I think it has a Pentium chip in it, Pentium 4, something like that. Uh, it only has like not even a gig of RAM in it. And all I'm using it strictly for is just for downloading content and I have it networked to the one on the left and this is the home theater PC right here and I'll do a review video on the home theater PC on the build and all that stuff but the home theater PC uh, you can see it has dual DVD drives on it I eventually will get a blu-ray to burn off of but uh, for right now it works um, and then here's Windows Media Center uh, it works works very well um, here's the guide and you can see all the different things. Uh, I have some plugins, that's why you can see the logos on the left hand side. But if I just want to go in and judge Alex, perfect. Give it a second. Uh, the reason it's running so slow is that I haven't been using it, so it's kind of, the, I bet the uh, drives are probably just waking up. And see, that's what happens sometimes with this. Uh, with certain stations on this uh, over the air antenna. Let me see if I can get something else. Let's try uh, sure CBS the doctors and you notice this one comes in better no problem. Um, the other things I like about this too is that you can oh let me show you my remote if you can see it there's my remote. Um, it was like $16 on Amazon, and it works wonders for Media Center. I don't have the exact number, model number, but I can find out for you guys. Um, I, I love it because I can control the volume. And you can see right there, I can control the volume on it. So, I have it set up with TVs. This part of movies, I do not use the Windows Media Center movies. I actually have a separate plug-in that I use. Um, and I can't remember, I want to say it's called... Media Center, something like that. It's, I mean, it sounds like Windows Media Center, but it's a little different. Um, but uh, this is the movie plugin I have. And the reason I got this is because 
I enjoy being able to see all the pictures, how, how nice it sets up. Um, so if I want to go to something and take a look, if I just sit on it for a second, I want to find something kind of cool. Let's look at Sucker Punch. So if I want to just sit on it for a second, it automatically comes up to this screen, this metadata that it's got. And I think it's kind of cool and fun. Uh, if I go back, let me go here again, select something else, go ahead and select on it. And the reason it's taking for so long, oops, picked one that I don't have any metadata. Uh, the reason it's taking so long is that I have a three terabyte in there, and the three terabyte just runs a little slow. Uh, but you can't complain with all the all that you can uh, download onto it. So here is cool. The background of the metadata shows you the the play, the details, um, synopsis, cast, crew, audio, all this good good jazz that all us nerds enjoy. Uh, going back. Uh, looking into pictures and videos, in video libraries where I hold all my TV shows. So here's all the TV shows I have downloaded right now. Um, I'm still working on cleaning it up, making it look better. Uh, but, you know, if I select on Entourage, I can look at all the Entourages that I have. And I have every season up to the current one. Except for yesterday's. I didn't get yesterday's, but I'll get it. Um, so it's kind of cool. So just a, a quick, easy, basic rundown of what I have uh, set up. Uh, you know, nothing spectacular. Uh, simple plugins. Uh, I'm working on cleaning stuff up, but still very cool. Um, I really enjoyed uh, being able to show you guys my setup. Uh, remember to uh, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel, Benchmop31, YouTube.com/slash Benchmop31. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks, guys.